four top four guys out there, you know, and then 99 was out there today, and uh, they're, they're pretty, I mean, they can go off the edge, and obviously they're fresh, you know, it's one of those three or four plays deals in a row, and we hadn't got a chance to wear them down or nothing like that, so that's a really good opportunity for us to work, uh, and get the best of the best right there, and so it's definitely an area we got to get better at. I thought we improved from day one to day two, I thought day one was pretty poor, day two I thought we improved and we got to continue to go. I think it's a great period for us. So. Did you take away from the drill yesterday with the tackles and the safety blitzes? Uh, yeah, that was just a drill that uh, Coach and Ivor wanted to work. You know, they blitz so much in their scheme that um, they just wanted to get an opportunity for their guys to work against actual, you know, old line blocking them out and stuff like that when somebody slides to them. But then for us, it's an opportunity to work against real speed. Um, we do got really, really fast guys off the edge. Uh, but to get a chance to go you know, against a guy can really run and, and burn an edge right there, it just it, it really makes us forces us on our initial sets and everything to really be good. And our technique's got to be really, really sharp. Or we won't be able to touch those guys off the edge. Did you see that? You know, just off the top of my head, I'll say Cortland Ford did a good job yesterday in that drill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I mean, I'll tell you what, we got something with those young guys. I mean, just for, for where they're at at the point they are in their career, I mean, the sky's the limit for those two kids. Um, but to be able to handle that is is pretty pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's it's not easy to do. Uh, I think Jonah's probably been able to handle it a little bit better than Corbin. Corbin's definitely more uh, more comfortable on the, on the left side than he is right. Um, but for them to be able to, again, against that D line, to go out there and function, uh, says a lot about those kids. Neilan said that you encouraged the team to bring more intensity on Monday and Tuesday versus Saturday. What did you see difference-wise between Saturday and this week? Uh, it, you know, what we talk about all the time, I mean, we're the, we're the biggest group literally and figuratively. Uh, you know, obviously the biggest people, but two, I mean, we got 20-something guys in that old line. And then any, any given person, any given group on the field at any time, there's more old linemen than there is anybody else on the field. You know, so we have the opportunity uh, if we bring a lot of energy to really influence, you know, our body language and, and how we, we, you know, we get to uh, how, how the rest of the offense flows. And if we can be excited and, and just execute with great, great body language and excitement, we've got a chance. Uh, we've got really good players, so it's one of those things. If we just if we play really hard and really excited, we've got, we've got an opportunity for success. I think those guys have done a good job. I mean, there's still a battle going on in there. Everybody wants to talk about the tackles, but you know, uh, there, there's a really solid battle going in there. And because of it, at the competition, I think the level of those guys' play has really, really increased. Um, Obviously, you know, it's, it's a cliche, we've got to get better every day, but the competition has definitely really improved that group as well. And I think those guys uh, are really playing at a pretty high level right now. What are the guys doing best right now? Uh, you know, I mean, we're starting to gel a little bit, even, even playing a lot of people and a lot of rotations and a lot of movement. We're starting to gel. We're starting to really understand our, our schemes and how to use them, uh, and, and you know we got really smart kids. So uh, guys like you know when Dee's at center, or Brett's at center, and, and even Millick now as a young kid picking it up. You know we see a defensive front. We're able to really get us in the right blocking screen, uh, scheme. You know we kind of read. It, it's it's really hard for our guys. You know I mean our guys do a great job of disguising things, and which is good work for us. We've got to see just about everything you're going to see. And I think those guys are really starting to understand and gel as far as how uh, to work together with what we have in our toolbox. You wanted to streamline the pre-snap communication. Was there something that you talked about or changed? No, I mean, I just feel like, uh, you know, we married it up with what we're doing in pass protection and just tried to eliminate a lot of verbiage. You know, right? there's a lot of built-in so we can say one thing and they know what to do. And then if there's an adjustment off that, obviously we'll adjust. But, you know, if we can just get there and, and when you're running just kind of base, you know, generic defense, you know, we can call one thing and just go with it.